Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain the drug treatment and mechanism of action of anti helminthic drugs. Uh, helminthic infections, there are three kinds of infections are there cystoda, trematoda, nematoda. First, we will see the drugs and their mechanism of action. Now, benzimidazole group of drugs are there albendazole, mebendazole, thiabendazole. These are considered as wide spectrum anti helminthic drugs. Their mechanism of action is they inhibit the polymerization of beta tubulin protein. This protein is present in uh, the worms, helminthic uh, organisms. When these proteins are inhibited, immobilization and death of the organism will occur. So this is how they will act. Now the next one is, there are drugs called as uh, pyrantal palmoid and levamizole. These two drugs, when they are given, they cause spastic paralysis in helminthic organism. Understand this word. These drugs act on nicotinic neuronal receptors and causes continuous activation. That results in continuous muscle contraction, that is what results in spasm, finally results in paralysis. This is what is called as spastic paralysis. Pyrantal palmate, levamzole cause this thing. Now the next one. There is a drug called as praziquantel. Praziquantel causes influx of calcium. Again, excess calcium will cause death of the organs. The next one. See, as we have seen uh, spastic paralysis, there are drugs which will cause flaccid paralysis. Flaccid paralysis, piperazine and uh, ivermectin. These two drugs activate GABA receptors. When GABA activation occurs, hyperpolarization occurs. Due to hyperpolarization, muscles will not contract and becomes flaccid. This is called as flaccid paralysis. Understand the difference. Flaccid paralysis is by piperazine and ivermectin. Spat spastic paralysis is because of Pyrantel palmate and levamzole. The next one is diethyl carbamazine drug is there. Now this drug is very selectively used to treat cystosoma hematobium. Especially it acts on microfilarial organism. So what happens is when this drug is taken, the microfilarial membrane permeability is increased and it becomes susceptible for immunity. Especially IgE antibody comes and attacks this organism and kills it. So this is the mechanism of various anti helminthic agents. Now coming to the treatment, See, uh, benzimidazoles like albendazole, mebendazole, thiabendazole and uh, piperazine are considered as wide spectrum anti helminthic agents. And uh, benzimidazoles are widely used to treat nematoda infections, whereas praziquantel is used to treat cystoda and trematoda infections. Diethyl carbamazine is a drug of choice to treat cystosomiasis, which is also known as elephantiasis. So, regarding uh, helminthic infections, only these things you need to remember. Mechanism of action and drug of choices. I hope this is useful. All the best.